Hey, what's up everyone? So, um, yeah, I have great news. I found a game that lets you go pod racing in freaking VR. Yes, yes, that's right. I I'm not kidding. It it it's, it's so cool. It's fan made, totally free and can be played on the Quest by using Airlink. If you're interested, there is a haha <laughs> link in the description if you want to give it a try yourself. Uh, right now it offers only uh, two racetracks uh, that take place on Tatooine and you can pilot three different pod racers, inspired by the ones from Saboba, Ben and uh, Teamto. Uh, funny enough, this isn't my first time trying a VR pod racing game because, uh, well, six years ago I got to play another project that was never finished. Don't crash, Nate. Come on, you can do it. Dutch it. There we go. No, I crashed. Careful, young Padawan. Motion sick you will get. Yeah, let's say it was a crazy experience. Uh, not only did it let you pot race, but after you won, you could get drunk at the cantina, cruise around town, and so much more. There was a lot to it. Uh, hopefully, this new game will bring all of that and more back to VR. I, I would love to see this become a full-blown game, not gonna lie. So be sure to drop a comment below of what you want to see because the developer is open for cool ideas. So, so be creative. Um, that said, let's uh, jump right into the metaphor, shall we? And travel to a galaxy far, far away. Let's -a go. Wow. <laughs> now uh, this is pot racing. Here we go! Woohoo! Oh yeah, baby! This is what VR was made for. I mean, let's be honest. Pod racing in combination with uh, glorious virtual reality is, is, is the perfect marriage. They were made for each other. So it's good to know that this is a fan-made project. It's work in progress. It's, it's a proof of concept, but I can tell you it's already a blast. So that says enough about how much uh, potential this has. You can only race against bots, but imagine getting to challenge your friends in the, in the future. Oh, that's where the real hype starts. <laughs> that's going to be so much fun. Uh, there are two uh, modes. You have a comfort one for people who get motion sick quickly. So then it's, it's not that insane and what you see here is the uh, realistic uh, mode that just goes uh, full in. It's crazy. You have no idea how fast I'm going. On a pancake screen it, it might look a little slow but trust me when you're in VR it's wild. It's absolutely wild. Oh. And uh, the display, let me, let me show you. Uh, has some information that is super useful. Um, you have the status of your uh, uh, engine. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, that was a close one. Uh, they are green for now, <laughs> but if they turn orange or red, you're kind of screwed, so you have been warned. Uh, the meter next to it, the red one, is your boost. You can push your uh, pot racer to the limit until it blows up. <laughs> and uh, there is a GPS. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. A GPS that, well, tells you where you need to go, but honestly, you don't need it. Uh, it's it's a very linear track. Oh man, these bots are going uh, nuts. They, they have no driver license, basically. <laughs> That's why I want to be able to play against friends, because they are way smarter than bots. <laughs> And, and, and the rest speaks for itself, the display has a, you know, the speed on it, uh, the amount of laps, it uh, doesn't work at the moment, I can just play this endlessly. Let me just kind of quickly show you what happens if your engines are really, you know, screwed up and how you fix them. So, here we go, I'm gonna crash into this. Okay, now it's red and it's smoking, so you just press a button and then it goes green, done. But I wish I could just, you know, make a pit stop at the uh, Grand Arena at Mos Espa and then uh, having to repair it there so it, it adds something to the gameplay. And then meanwhile you see your friends fly by and you're like, I need to hurry up, I need to get back on the track. So you know what, let's uh, hop over to uh, the other level that is there. Okay, here we go again. Uh, this ship, this spot racer is even faster than the previous one. <laughs> 
It's ridiculous. Woo! And it's a lot lighter too. So nice. So about my wish list. On top I have, of course, what a surprise, an online multiplayer. That would be the limit. But next to that, a progression system that allows you to win credits after each race and then spend those on new pot racers or on your current one and customize it with uh, a new engine or a fresh coat of paint, weapons, side skirts go, whoa, did you see that? <laughs> that bot just went straight for me. Oh, I'm happy I'm still alive, but my engine is like messed up. Oh, whoa, whoa, someone pushed me. Oh, what the hell? I told you they had no uh, driver license. <laughs> But yes, you, you get the point. Customize your ship to your own preference. Make it your own. Also, I would like to see the, the racetracks be more dynamic. So you have things happening from time to time. Like Bantas crossing the road that you have to dodge. Or Tuscan Raiders trying to take you down. Uh, seeing Jar Jar on your screen. Cheering you on. A bunch of holograms. Would be cool, I'm not gonna lie. Even if it's from your your opponents trying to give you smack, right? Oh! What? Oh my. Doesn't matter from which galaxy you are, that always hurts. That always hurts. Oh. Well, at least the laps are, are, are working this time. Oh. And the finish, it's here! Wow, so there you go. That's all that's there. But my days is this cool. Uh, it, it's really fun and super fast. Link is in the description uh, below. Check it out. Please give it a try and let me know what you think. Uh, the developer has said he is working on more racetracks, uh, more ships, better sound design, uh, improving the cockpits, visuals and pot racer animations. And oh, best of all, there is a multiplayer prototype in the works. I, I didn't know that because I just started playing it straight away and after I went a little bit deeper into the itch.io page of this uh, fanmade project I found out there is a whole whole list of things that are being worked on behind the scenes so yeah make sure to to check it out and um, maybe you can add something to it uh, let me know in the comments below what your suggestions are for this pot racing VR game because there is so much you can come up with. The possibilities are endless. So something that I think would be cool to add is this double dash feature that lets you for example play as Mando in a pod race version of the Razor Crest with baby Grogu sitting in the back. <laughs> that would be the cutest thing ever and then you can work as a team to slow down your opponents and in the end win the race. Uh, yeah, it, it, it sounds crazy maybe but Mixing Mario Kart with Star Wars is going to be an insane combination. So yes, let us know in the comments below what you want to see. The developer is down for a lot of cool ideas and there is even a Discord that you can join to stay updated in real time. All the links are in the description. I'm rambling, I'm done, I'm, I'm, I'm just excited, I'm sorry. Uh, thanks for watching everyone, leave a like to show your support. And with that being said, until next time, see you in the metaverse and bye bye for now. If that online feature happens, I will be back with another video for sure. Oh man, that's gonna be wild. Woo! See you! <laughs>